Seek Vision presents Metaphysical Bible Study Shorts Voice The voice is associated with the power faculty represented by Philip. See video for disciples or apostles. The still small voice, also known as the supreme voice, is the true spirit speaking from within the I am. God. It blesses us and uplifts us. Sometimes the voice is audible and other times it reveals itself as a deep and certain feeling of knowingness. Webster's Dictionary Concordance calls voice the power of utterance. The power centre in the throat, corresponding with the larynx and the pharyngeal plexus, controls all the vibratory energies of this organ. The voice is the open door that opens and shuts between the formless and the formed worlds. Every sound and word that we allow through the door receives its distinctness or identity in the power faculty. Therefore, the voice is a direct expression of consciousness. The illumined mind sends forth many useful vibrations through this faculty. Charles Fillmore says that the art of listening to the inner voice and obeying it is well worth developing. When the thinking faculty is obedient and does as it is told, it is rewarded with a multitude of new ideas. The power and resonance of the voice is the exact reason why affirmations, both positive and negative, do work. The voice, loaded with passion or vehemence, is indeed a creative force, just as the word of God. The voice that John hears behind him in Revelation 1.10 is the Spirit of God, whose base of action in the physical body is the spinal cord and the medulla oblongata. This is where divine law stores all the words and thoughts that we have ever entertained. Jesus said, The words that I have spoken unto you are spirit and are life. He meant that the spoken word conveys an inner spirit enhancing quality that enters the mind of the recipient and activates the dormant life forces. Likewise, when we elevate the power of voice through singing, praising, thanksgiving and mantra, the great spirit builds gifts. Singing literally de-stresses tense nerves. The vibration of singing stirs the nerves into action, allowing healing, purification and release to occur. When Jesus cried with a loud voice, scripture is emphasising the importance of working with the inner life force. This is exactly what is practised in a scene mantra yoga. The energy centres can be enhanced by throwing a current of energy to any desire place, as practised by the neophytes. They focused on the outer flesh becoming invigorated by the inner life. One method of doing this is to use the loud voice with focus toward the single eye. More information is available in my book, The God Design. Secrets of the Mind, Body and Soul. Available on Amazon and other platforms in paperback, ebook and audio formats. For free and pro versions of the Seek Vision Freedom Yoga app based on the teachings of the Essenes, head over to the App Store for iOS or the Google Play Store for Android versions. Thank you for watching. Peace and light.